Hey folks, Joe Cast again, and um, this time around I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually going to do a video of a build. I'm actually just going to record me building a blaster for myself. This is something that I want to do for myself to use if I want to go to use it at a war or what have you. Um, an idea that I've come up with, I want to do a modified retaliator. I've gone and got myself a pump grip kit off uh, um, by China. Um, I've 3D printed some Pictini rails. Um, I measured up the rails on the side here and the gapping for the, ho the holes and what have you. And I've designed and printed some Pictini rails to attach to that also. Uh, I got myself one of these angled foregrips that I want to put on as the, like the pump grip. And yeah, a few other internal uh, things I want to do to it. I've Got myself a uh, Orange Modworks, uh, a couple of Orange Modworks kits, the Stage 1 and Stage 2 Retaliator kits. So I want to uh, fit those to it uh, internally, so use those as the internals um, with a few additional modifications, the pump grip, what have you, and then do some cosmetic stuff to it myself as well. So that's the plan. Stay along for the journey. Um, have a look and see what we uh, what we what I do, and uh, what it comes up like, and then we'll do a chronic test and everything, and see what it shoots like afterwards. Um, I don't think anyone's really that interested in what a stock retaliator shoots like. So uh, all right, what we'll do is um, I've already removed the screws here so that we can pull the shell apart, um, and I've already removed the slide and um, the jam door. I'm going to leave the jam door off. That's just something that I want to do. Um, obviously personal choice, but that's that's my thing. That's what I'm going to do. All right, um, we'll go about removing the internals and replacing them with the Orange Modworks internals. Uh, so that'll be the uh, next segment. I'll set the camera up so that you can uh, watch as we do this. Okay, so here we are. We have got the retaliator that I'm working on. Um, we've got some bits put aside and what have you. And we're going to put the Orange Modworks Stage 1 and 2 kits into it as the internals. So we'll get the bits and pieces uh, out and put them aside. Okay, so obviously you've got your trigger, um, trigger catch. Enforcement plate right now. Um, obviously, first things first, this needs to go up through here and the pin put through into place. So, we'll do that. There we go, got the rest of the way in flush. All right. So what don't we need? We don't need the trigger, we don't need the trigger catch or catch spring, we don't need the plunger tube or spring, we don't need the bolt sled. Okay, so let's start with, we'll just give the Internals a bit of a regrease. Well, now it's sealing all right. Um, now I'm, I'm not putting any locks in this uh, whatsoever because uh, I want to be able to prime and deprime it and what have you as I like. Get that into place. 
Now, um, we need to put one of these in place when we put this bolt slid back in. Okay. And the other one, we'll see the top of that one there. All right, we've got the trigger catch. Might actually pop a bit of lube on the outside of that just to Okay. Um, spring. Oh, sorry, the trigger. Connection to the trigger catch. All right. Uh, so that's the internals in place. Now, all we've got to do is put the spring in, which uh, I actually start, but don't finish until I've got the shell together, and then put the put get the spring the rest of the way, and then put the end piece on. So, all right, we'll uh, put the top cover back on. Now, like I said, I'm leaving the jam door off. I actually prefer to leave it off, um, but to each their own. It's just this is just how I like to do it. Um, now, what I've done prior to this was uh, worked out where the holes needed to be and made the holes in the shell at the top. Um, I did have it glued on originally, but the glue uh, isn't strong enough to hold it just on its own. So. Um, couple of screws from the underside um, and they will hold it on nicely so uh, what we'll do is we'll just part this top section here and then to get these screw heads through and the shell can go back through again and this time we can do it with the screws Okie dokie. All right, now, um, the assembly. We've got the stock that I'm going to use is uh, one of the raised stocks that I've put the M4 um, dress kit on. So you've got the uh, stock um, and your handle there. So gives you an idea of uh, where we're going with this. Now, barrel extension. I've got a barrel extension. I've uh, 3D printed the um, M4 sight out of a... Uh, it's a new ABS I thought I'd try. It's actually a colour changing one. It um, appears this sort of opaque white um, at night or in the dark or what have you. But then when you get it out into sunlight, it actually changes colour up to a blue. Um, so it turns us into a, a blue sight. Um, and uh, just a um, the, the orange flash hider. Um, I did that with a translucent orange uh, film, so I thought I'd give that a try, and it came out okay. And I've actually replaced the barreling in this with uh, Worker, the guys that do the stocks and some of the pump grip kits and what have you. Uh, also, are doing lengths of barrel material now, so I actually got a length of barrel material and have replaced the whole barrel section so it's it's all in one piece um, just thought that was a little bit um, uh, nice and neater finish um, to the uh, to the overall thing all right now um, we attach the barrel attachment um, and you got your barrel in place now pump grip that will slide on the front here and We've got the little Allen keys that screw the slide into the um, 
I don't know what do you call them, a little grommet. So they slide nicely and don't foul. All right, um, now these little covers that go on over the top of those screws on each side. So you just basically pop them on and you screw them into place. And then I went and actually measured up uh, this section and the uh, hole gaps and what have you. And I 3D printed a couple of um, Pictini attachment rails so that I could um, uh, get that additional effect of having uh, the Pictini rails on the side as well. So we'll get them into place as well. Okay, and last but not least, there's the uh, angled foregrip, um, which I've modified slightly. I've cut a bit of length off it so that it um, doesn't foul when you're trying to actually pump the um, blaster. Um, so what you need to do is, well, um, Push your blaster back to a position where it loads, then slide your grip back and make sure that you allow a little bit of a gap so that it doesn't foul when you're trying to pump your blaster. Now that we've got it there, we can tighten him up. Alright, so be able to decline and prime. Prime, prime. Okay, so that's priming and depriming nicely, no problems at all. Now, uh, all that really remains is to put some rounds over the uh, crony with it and we'll see what it's uh, putting out with the Orange Modworks Stage 1 and 2 kits. So, what we'll do is we'll uh, load up a 12 dart magazine. We're going to use six uh, zombie, zombie Elite darts and six. Um, of these red aftermarket darts. So, all right. There you go, you've got the uh, overall look of the blaster. Um, you get that sort of uh, M4 look and feel to it. Um, you might just uh, put a few rounds to it. So there we go. Um, all right, so we're going to do six of the uh, red aftermarket darts first, and then follow it up with um, six of the zombie strike elite darts. So let's see what she does. Last of the red darts. And now the zombie elite darts. Oh my god. Um, there did seem to be a bit of a difference there with the zombie elite darts. So what I might do is try and uh, grab a few just normal elite darts and put some of those over it. See what it does. Uh, see what it does with uh, a few 
the standard elite box. All right. So that's uh, not doing too bad for um, a reasonably uh, lightly modified blaster. But uh, yeah, so sort of gone for the uh, the M4 look, um, as you can see. Um, carry handle on top, got the M4 stock, um, the barrel extension, got the M4 little side at the front there with the flash hider and the pump grip set, set up, Orange Mod Works Stage 1 and 2 kit and um, that's my blaster which I probably would use uh, for war scenarios and what have you. Um, I hope you like it, uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, I will see you on the next mod. Cheers.